told you that co-washing your hair could potentially be slowing your hair growth and damaging your hair. What if? Hmm. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, what's going on? So in this video, we are going to be discussing the whole no poo, co-wash, water only method. Now, I've been a part of this natural community for almost 10, no, 10 years now. It started in 2010. So I've seen the life and the death of trends. I've seen the whole progression. So this one does not surprise me. But you guys asked for my cosmetic chemist opinion on this topic, if it's even effective for our hair or not. So stay tuned. So the no poo method is really where you are cleansing your hair without the use of a shampoo. This is where you are only using a co-wash to cleanse your hair or you're just using water to cleanse your hair. This has stemmed from the whole curly girl method that many people are using. And honestly, some of you guys have been kind of concerned about it, hence me bringing this video to you guys. So here's my take on the whole no poo method. I think it is counterproductive of what you are trying to achieve. You're trying to cleanse your hair, and unfortunately, conditioners are not going to do that because that's really what a co-wash is. It is a conditioner marketed to be a cleansing conditioner. Now, the cleansing aspect is, you know, as chemists, we may put some cleansing surfactants in it, but it's not enough for it to really effectively cleanse your hair. So really what you're doing is you're putting oil on top of oil. And that can lead to, you guys already know, build up, you know, and build up can stunt your hair growth, your hair health. So you really should be using some type of shampoo, cleansing surfactant, and not relying solely on a co-wash to cleanse your hair. So scientifically, what are cleansing surfactants and how do they work? Basically, cleansing surfactants have a lipophilic tail or a oil-loving tail, and then there is a hydrophilic head or water-loving head so what happens is when you use a shampoo to cleanse your hair that oil loving tail binds to the dirt and the oil on your scalp and it creates a micellar shape so it's kind of like a circle and the hydrophilic head of that surfactant actually carries away the oil and the dirt from your scalp as you proceed to rinse your hair off with the water. But you have to use a shampoo that has a cleansing surfactant to actually draw itself to the oil and dirt and lift it off the scalp and move it away, AKA down the drain. Let's talk about water only. Water only is not possible. You can't cleanse dirt and oil with water. It's just not gonna happen. So to me, water only is like an extreme trend that really needs to die out. Now the thing about co-washes is that they do not contain either any cleansing surfactants or not enough cleansing surfactants to actually do that effectively. Co-wash does have a part in your regimen, but I wouldn't use it solely as your cleansing agent or a, as a cleanser, okay? Now, at the same time, I get where you guys are coming from. Even though I am a chemist, I'm also a consumer, so I understand how frustrating it is to use a shampoo that dries your hair out and make it super frizzy and straw-like. So, as a cosmetic chemist, I feel like I'll be doing you guys a disservice if I don't share some ingredients to look for for your shampoo. Not harsh surfactants, but actually mild surfactants that are effective at cleansing the scalp, but also won't, you know, dry your hair out. So here are a few I would recommend. Sodium cocoa isothionate, cocoa metopropylbutane, sodium C14, C16, olefin sulfonate, and sodium cocoa glutamate. Okay, I know that was a lot. However, all of those are actually derived from coconut oil. So they are cleansing surfactants, however, they are derived from coconuts and they actually might be in your favorite shampoo right now. So as for product recommendations, of course, you guys already know, I'm using the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Shampoo. Main Choice has a great line of shampoo. Mio Organics has a great line as well. Cream of Nature are the oil shampoos. Those are great shampoos that have those ingredients that I just recommended within them. Now for the ones who are like, girl, I use the water only method. I use the co-wash method, the no wash, the no poo method, and I love it. It works for my hair. My recommendation is this. If it works for you, stick with it. However, I do recommend at least, if I can just plead with you, please clarify your hair. At least clarify your hair once or twice a month if you are going to just stick with straight up water only 
or uh, no poop co-wash, okay? Please clarify your hair, that's gonna be super important because you need to get rid of that product buildup and to really for your scalp and your hair to grow at its most optimum level, okay? So I love you guys as always. Hope you guys learned a lot of good stuff. If you're not following me on Instagram at charmy369, you need to. I do Q&A sessions on there. I post about hair care tips from a curly chemistry standpoint, and I'm gonna be going live soon, so that's gonna be a whole nother level. So I'm super excited about that. If you have not checked out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients, where have you been? Okay, I'll put the link below for you. It's gonna change the way you look at ingredients in the natural hair care industry. And if you're thinking about starting your own hair care line, or you already have a hair care line, which is like, girl, these products, these formulations, they work out, I'm gonna do do. Hit me up, okay? I have a link below for you as well. Thank you for subscribing, liking this video, comment below. I have a question for you, of course. What's your favorite shampoo? What is like your holy grail shampoo? And if you don't have one, say you don't have one and I will try to make a recommendation for you, okay? Thank you for subscribing, commenting, notifications are on because my next video is gonna be on hair growth and you don't wanna miss it, okay? I'll see you guys soon, bye.